In this video, I want to show you how to take your current article pages and turn them into something beautiful. You know, one of the challenges that I had when I started using Joomla years ago was to customize the article pages. It was such, you know, an arduous task that sometimes it took me a long period of time because I had to hand code everything. Um, and, you know, it's frustrating at times because if you wanted to create a real complex page or wanted things to be in a certain way, um, you have to really code it in. Uh, with Page Builder now, you don't have to do that. So this is what your default article page look like. And it's pretty basic, just simple, not really much on here. So what I want to do is I want to show you now how with just a few clicks, you can be able to turn this into something that looks, you know, stunningly beautiful. So let's go on the back end. And when you when you install Page Builder two, uh, you notice that you have uh, the Joomla editor and the SP Page Builder. And I have a video that talks about you know how to you know activate this. So make sure you watch that video if you know if you haven't seen it yet, um, because it's going to help you understand how you can be able to to activate this. So once you're here now, you have just the default Joomla editor, uh, and then you have the Page Builder editor. So the Joomla editor right now is using the default tiny MCE editor. You can change this to JCE or any other one. But since I'm not going to focus so much on the editor right now, I just want to go to page builder and we are going to be adding some things here and turning this into something more beautiful. So once again, this is what it looks like now. And I want to show you, uh, there's several ways you can do this. If you want to create something that's custom, you can always do that but one thing that I love that if you're trying to figure out where to start you need some design inspiration when you click on the page template here you have several options that you can use as a starting point uh, so if you want to create let's say a, a corporate site then let's go over here to this one let's load this corporate and just with one click you have successfully created a page now let's save it and we're going to go on the front end so you can see what this looks like. So now remember this is what it looked like before. So what I'm going to do now is when I click this refresh, you're going to get something completely different. So there you have it with just one click, we've been able to transform a page that looks, you know, very low, you know, end and boring into something that looks beautiful and professional. So you can apply this same thing to your current pages right now. Look at this. It looks really, really good. And as you scroll down uh, and you can be able to customize this. So let's go back here. And the reason why I'm showing you the templates, uh, because a, a lot of times when people want to create a page, they need some inspiration. You know, they're not sure what the, the page should look like or how, you know, what the layout should be. So if you want to kind of go through this here and just to see, so let's load the services. So if you have services that you're offering, uh, you can just load this template and you can start to edit it to make it your own. So it's really basic, but yet it gives you everything that you need there. So let's go up here and load a couple more. Uh, let's say we want to load the About Us. About Us page, all the great pages that you definitely need to have on your website. So let's refresh it. But as you can see, with just one click, I'm able to transform a page. This has never been, you know, like you can do this before, you know, like it was so much um, time to code it in and to edit it. And but with just one click, you can build a complete website with just dragging and dropping. So uh, this is what the article page look like now. So let's go back over here. So let's say you have one of these pages and you want to edit it It's very simple for you to edit. All you have to do is you can click where it says head and you click on the edit and you can change the title. You can change the HTML elements. You want it to be H1 or two, three, four, five, six, or a paragraph. You can scroll down a span or a div. You can do that. So when you scroll down, you can choose the underline. And once again, I have other videos that go into details about some of these features here, but I just wanted to show you that, you know, you can, change your current pages to look so much beautiful than they you know they are if they're not uh so let's come back here i'm just going to uh faq and i'm just going to delete these here so we're going to just build something uh let's just delete this here okay so let's see you have a brand new page that you're starting out with well it's very simple for you to get started so you click here 
and when you click on the add new add-on you have the option of choosing anything that you want to put on your page so whatever it is that you want to put on the page if you want to put a countdown let's get this countdown you want to put a countdown uh, countdown to next event so I'll just put the title and you can choose the counter height the width the font size the color the background color if you want to add a border we're gonna activate the border so you can see what that looks like the border radius the, uh, the color for that so let me just I'm just gonna choose random stuff here just so that we see what it looks like so have that okay so let's click and apply so with just one click you've been able to add a countdown on your site so let's go back here now on the front end and we can be able to refresh it so now you have a countdown and let's say you don't want the countdown anymore and you wanted to add something else you can go and choose anything else here that you want so let's say you want to add some a button group if you click on button group and you click on this here to open it button one you can choose the style let's make this one uppercase you can choose the spacing that's the space between the buttons and you can also link the buttons uh, let's go down here you can choose the button style primary and you can choose this um, to add an icon with it and where it says full width you can choose to make that yes or no I'm just gonna leave that at no and by the way the other video that I have about the the, um, the icons here and the buttons going a lot of detail so I'm just kind of going through this here okay so that's the button one let's say you want another button you can either click on add new or you can click on the duplicate to clone it so you just clone that other button we're gonna call this one button number two and want to make this one info and let's click on apply so let me save this now and we're gonna take a look on the front end. and by the way you know you can edit this on the front end as well but I'm just adding this on the back end now so you have two buttons here and the reason why I'm showing you this I just want to show you all the different things that you have on uh, at your disposal so you can be able to move things around so let's go back to the templates let's go to to the about us and click on save and you refresh it you have a beautiful about us page and you can edit the content here if something that you don't want to replace it with your own uh, you scroll down here so let's say you wanted to change our story where well, you come back here uh, you can go to the about us you change the title and if you wanted to change where it says the heading where you have this content here uh, you can do that as well and you can change you know pretty much everything that you see on this page so if you have a, a page right now that you know you want to you want to add more spice to you want it to look a little bit more professional then this is the way to go and if you're not sure where to get started I recommend that you click on this page templates and just kind of play with these here because it gives you a different look a different feel and over time they're gonna be adding more different variations here but to get started um, you have a lot to get started right now and you can pretty much you can drag things over or you don't just drag and drop so what I'm doing right now is I'm moving something so I'm just gonna move just things at random so you can see how simple it is as you add different things so I'm just I'm moving stuff all over it's see how simple it is I'm just dragging I'm dropping so you don't have to worry about coding anymore this is a major major you know improvement and major step uh, that you can be able to just move things wherever you want them to go um, as I mentioned before years ago when I started I couldn't just do this I had to go uh, let me show you what I had to do I had to go back here to tools and I had to go to the source code now this is where everything had to get done had to code it in and put this there and after a while it became so you know time consuming so I've just dragged and dropped things all over let me click on save right now and the page is not gonna look like this but the point is I wanted to show you that you have uh, the the ability for you to drag and drop anything anywhere on the page so let me click on refresh and as you see I've dragged you know things at random and it looks like this so you can do the same thing so if you're not a coder you don't have that time to you know to, to code anything all you got to do is just drag and drop and you're done turn your article pages into a work of art